Nothing ever fixes itself. If you have a problem inside of your company or a problem making money, you better do something about it quickly. I see people come along and go, oh yeah, it's been a few slow couple of months. I'm like, okay, so what have you been doing? Oh, you know, well, it's been a slow couple of months. We're gonna place some more adverts. Wait, it's been months of slow and now you're thinking of placing adverts. After the second slow day, I would've been in a panic. I'd be like, whoa, what the fuck's going on? It's been two days, Where, where's the fucking money? Hello everybody. Today's video is Andrew Tate talking about one of the biggest problems when managing a business. Andrew Tate is a self-proclaimed billionaire, or at least an extremely wealthy person with a tremendous amount of experience in sales and building businesses. In this video, Andrew Tate will be talking about a big mistake people make when managing a business. So stick around, you might learn a thing or two. As always, we hope you enjoy this video and find it helpful. And if so, make sure to subscribe, like the video and comment down below. It will be greatly appreciated and it helps a lot making these videos. So enjoy and have a good day. Speed, nothing is ever gonna fix itself in any, in any company. Same with all your tech stuff. PayPal or fucking your, your hosting. I, I know like I get one guy I work with, James, he calls, he thinks I'm super impatient. If you wait around for other people to just fix things, it never happens. I've had it a million times. The number of times I've been waiting on PayPal thinking, oh yeah, it's gonna be fine. It, it just never happens. You have to hound everyone to the end of the earth. I've been in business a very, very long time and I cannot think of a single example where I thought, hmm, I'm not gonna chase or hound or annoy this person and it's gonna work out fine. It's never happened. You have to be constantly on the phone six times a day. You have to be beefing people nonstop. And there's a reason for that. It's because the people who work at these companies or the people who work for someone else, they don't give a fuck about you. They've got their own problems. Their girlfriend's cheating on them. They can't afford their rent. They hate their job. You think he's really thinking, oh, I really better get this online, this, this hosting online for that guy. They don't fucking care. Even if you call them, they're like, yeah, I understand, sir, it's a big problem. They don't care, they don't care. They've got their own lives, they don't give a shit. No one gives a shit about you. So nothing's ever gonna fix itself. So don't be afraid to be a hard ass with the technical things, that's the first thing. And second thing, if you've got a problem inside of your business and you've identified it, you need to start thinking of a battle plan to fix it quickly. It's not gonna go away without you doing something just like the flat tire one. If you have a lack of customers sitting there going, okay, well, we're still building the brand, still building the name, so let's see where we stand in a month. No, you've identified you have a lack of customers. What can you do about it now? Lesson one, speed. How can you fix that problem today? Even if you come up with a plan, and you, if you follow my other rules that you've learned so far, you can come up with a plan that costs no money, effectively. You come up with a plan and you implement it, even if it doesn't work, you're still in the same position. What's the worst that can happen? So this is where Tristan and I sometimes have a little uh, disagreement. So let's say Tristan and I, when we were running the cam girls, uh, there'd be like three or four days which were really slow. And I'd say to Tristan, where the fuck's the money? He'd go, oh, it happens. There was a big football game, guys are busy, blah, blah, blah. So now I don't buy that now. This girl needs a new account because her account score is low. This girl needs new costumes. This girl needs this, da, 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 we gotta change everything. And Tristan's like, it's been three days, just chill. I'm like, nah, change everything. We need this, we need that. Her set has been the same for a year. Let's re, let's re wallpaper that wall, give her a different set. Let's change this, let's change this to it. So we'll do all those changes. Then two weeks later, money's rolling in. Tristan will go, well, money's rolling in now, but I don't know if it was, the, we don't know if it was the changes you made or if it was just the football game. The, change, the money might have rolled in anyway. And we've gone through all that and we don't know why. I say, look, what I know is this, the money is now rolling in. Butterfly effect. I know that in the current reality, I did a bunch of things and now the money's appeared. You're saying that maybe if we didn't do those things, maybe the money would have come anyway. Well, I don't live in a maybe world. Nobody knows that. I know that there's two days, two, three slow days. I identified a problem. I took drastic action and I fixed it. Now it's fixed. You can try and pretend I didn't fix it and that it was gonna happen anyway if you want, but things don't fix themselves. I know how the world works. And Tristan eventually will concede. So if things are slow for one or two days, I'll get in panic mode with my business and I'll fucking start doing something. And that's when you have your best ideas when you're in panic mode. And as long as you can implement those ideas without spending a whole ton of money, good. I'm not saying panic, buy Google ads and blow a million. I'm saying sit there and go, okay, how can I get customers in right here, right now, speed? What can I do without spending money? All I did was buy some wallpaper, adjust some beds, make a new account that's free, tell the girl to change her lipsticks and bought her a $10 costume. I spent 20 bucks, boom, done. All the money started rolling in. And I know it's because of me. Tristan's gonna, Tristan sometimes would be like, oh, well, maybe it would've happened anyway. Nah, maybe, maybe. You live in a maybe world, I live in the real world. I did a whole bunch of shit, all the girls are busy. I could have just sat there, three days are quiet, four days are quiet, one week is quiet, two weeks is quiet. Yeah, it's a quiet period, yeah. People aren't, it's it's hot outside, people don't want to sit on their computer. Yeah, I made excuses like a dickhead. Or I could have done things, action, speed, number one, fixed the problem and made some fucking money. That's the difference between me and even Tristan, who I've mentored on business. Because Tristan will be more like, oh, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. It will never be fine unless you fix it. It's never gonna be okay unless you do something. The customers are never gonna come unless you bring them. They're never gonna give you money unless you force them. 
Your website's never gonna fix itself. Fucking PayPal's never gonna email you and go, okay, we're working now. Your payment processor's never gonna go, oh, okay, we'll update you next week and everything's gonna be fine. No, nothing is ever gonna be okay unless you take it into your own hands and fix it yourself. And any adult who's lived any kind of life knows that's true. When you leave things to other people, it doesn't get done. You know that, you already know that. So keep it in mind, especially with business. Two, three days of no customers, do something. Nothing fixes itself. That's super important.